tutorial i will explain bias correction in cmip6 precipitation using machine learning and simple linear scaling technique <clears throat> global climate models are essential for predicting future climate patterns but they often contain systematic biases due to their coarse spatial resolution and simplification in atmospheric processes one of the most widely used data sets CMIP6 provides precipitation projection under different emission scenarios. However, raw CMIP6 outputs often deviate from observed data, making them less reliable for regional climate impact assessment. To address this issue, bias correction techniques are applied to adjust the GCM outputs to match observed data. In this video, we will explore two powerful techniques. Number one, linear scaling. This is a simple and widely used technique that adjusts the mean of the GCM precipitation data to make the observed mean. It assumes that the bias is constant over time and corrects the entire data sets by applying a scaling factor. While it's computationally efficient, it fails to correct higher order statistical properties such as variability making it less suitable for extreme human analysis. Number second, XGBoost technique. Unlike traditional statistical methods, extreme gradient boosting is a machine learning approach that learns the relationship between observed and model precipitation data. It captures complex non-linear biases and corrects them based on various climate predictor XGBoost or performs simple scaling method by learning patterns in the data making it ideal for more dynamic and regional region specific corrections why we bias why we carry out bias correction bias correction significantly improve the accuracy of climate projection ensuring that decision makers hydrologists and climate scientists rely on high quality data for impact assessment, disaster preparedness and water resources management. As machine learning advances, approaches like Exibus offer promising improvements over traditional bias correction methods. In this video, we will walk through the entire process from downloading CMIP6 precipitation data and merging it with observed record to apply linear scaling and Exibus for bias correction. Finally, we will analyze the effectiveness of each method using statistical performance metric and visualize the result to understand how well the correction aligns with the real world observation. So now let's visit the code. Here we have imported this library to perform this specific task. I have arranged the observed precipitation record for the year 2015 in Excel and I have imported this record by this specific piece of code this piece of code now I have extracted the CMIP6 data for the area of interest using this piece of code here I have used GFDL ESM4 model I have used SSP245 scenario, scenario and the record the record of CMIP6 data ranges from January 2015 to December 2015. So now in the next one, the, uh, this piece of code is basically to extract the precipitation record of the CMIP6 data. Now this record is basically converted to the Panda data frame by using this piece of code. So now I have merged the record. And now the first technique which is called linear scaling bias correction is applied to the uh, CMIP6 data and this is basically uh, is a very simple technique which is based on the ratio between the mean of the observed record and the mean of the CMIP6 data and this scale is basically multiplied to the, uh, to the uh, model data that is the data of the CMIP6 uh, data. 
So now in the next phase we have used a XG boost technique which is a machine learning uh, technique. In this technique uh, uh, I have used two hyper we have used two hyper parameter that is an estimator which is the number of trees. So uh, here I have considered it 200 and the learning rate is 0.1 which is a step size. So basically you can uh, range these video to optimize your model. So now predict the bias corrected CMIP6 data using this XGBoost model. For this two uh, for this hyper hyperparameters. Now compute after this uh, save the data the, the corrected data and then perform the statistical performance indicator or the mode techniques to compare them that which one perform better. So this technique basically basically includes the mean absolute error, root mean square error, R and Nash coefficient. So based on these techniques we will decide that which model perform better. So this is the computation computed matrix of the statistical performance indicator and here this is converted to data frame and saved and here this piece of code is basically for plotting the results and this one basically this is the last piece of code uh, when the, uh, when the uh, whole process completes this save the data in a CSV file and download it in your PC. So here you can check the results in Excel and this is the uh, result of this of the above code code here you can see the observed data is represented by black line where RAS may be 6 by the dash uh, red line linear scaling technique result is shown by the uh, blue line while XGBoost corrected result is shown by the uh, green line so here you can see the observed record and XGBoost record clo or closely match with each other but if you come to the uh, linear scaling technique here you can see this is the result are far away uh, from the observed record so this uh, this shows that machine learning technique are superior than the traditional uh, bias correction technique like uh, linear scaling quantile ma mapping and many others so by ch making correction uh, uh, by making updation in this uh, code you can change the technique like if you are interested in quantile mapping so here basically you you can change instead of learning scale you just change this piece of code if you uh, want to change the machine learning learning technique like uh, support vector machine or light gbm or uh, any other technique which you are uh, interested so here you can uh, replace this piece of code by that particular one so and one thing more one thing should be noted that with each technique these hyper parameter will change so you should know about the range of this hyper hyper parameter hyper parameter so by changing the ray by changing this value you will get uh, the statistical performance indicator at the end of the each analysis so you have to check it, check it the statistical performance indicator and compare uh, uh, comp enter compare uh, these for all the models so based on this you can choose the best performing model but here the results uh, shows that machine learning model uh, machine learning model performs better as compared to the linear scaling technique because you can see by visual observation the observed record and the uh, XG boost technique closely uh, closely or with each other so this is all about this video